perfect segue into our Thursday night segment, of course, with our political analyst, Gary Dietrich. All right, Gary, a major shakeup in the presidential debate now. I got to hear your take on this. Mm -hmm. There's been so much talk about it. Now, Is there going to be a debate? Three months early. Two of them, and way yeah. before the, uh, the Historically early. Right. I mean, this Very is the early. part of it we all have to remind ourselves of. Nobody is an official candidate yet, all right? That's what happens, supposedly, friends, at the convention. However, yes, before we have any actual official candidates, we are going to have ourselves a live presidential debate. I mean, I, this sounds crazy. Why is it happening? Because the Biden people, this is very, I mean, this is politics 101. They had to shake things up. There's absolutely no question the trends in the polls People inside the White House have been watching this very carefully. And we could go on and on about demographics and battleground states and on and on, friends. But the bottom line is this. This was proposed by the Biden people, mm -hmm. surprised everybody, this week because of that. If right. Because you've got to shake up the race. If he does poorly, there'll be time to recover is part of the process, right? Part well, of the yeah, he'll have process. something called a convention in yeah. August, right. right? I mean, this is but, but between the polls, Gaza, and a whole bunch of other things. This is, this is what you do. I mean, mm -hmm. you do not debate if you're ahead. You call for as many debates as you can possibly get, as early as you can get, if you're behind. I mean, that's just, that's been politics for decades. Okay, so that's the presidential debate. Yep. So uh, what's your take on CBS uh, talking about a vice presidential debate with Kamala Harris, of course, and whomever it's going to be? Yeah, well, I mean, we'll be on talking, friends. We can break that news tonight because it's official. I checked it even on our CBS website. Nice. Okay. Yeah, no, this is for real. This very network, friends, you will be happy to know, is going to be hosting the vice presidential debate. The only, And usually there's only one, so we can expect this is probably it. And usually they're the, really boring. Okay, here's the deal. <laughs> for one thing, okay, first of all, the, the details. We'll, we'll get you the date as soon as we have it. They've offered two dates. The Biden-Harris ticket is accepted. Of course, mm -hmm. we don't know who's going to be on those sides. So let's just put an X in that box. But why is this important? Well, everybody is saying, and we all know, uh, President Biden's age makes a second mm -hmm. term potentially a challenge. Right. So this is not only a potential third presidential debate, so to speak, but also, guess who's almost certain to run in four years? Right. Mm -hmm. so it's a Kamala test Harris. I used the wrong word. I, I meant I, in words, Tony, I think this is going to be a huge audience for this VP. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Of course. Everyone wants to see what she has to say and right. how she can say it, right? Yep. All right, so the next one, too, an unusual move. Got to get your take on this one. California's GOP hopeful Steve Garvey apparently skipping his party's convention. What's up with that? Yeah, I mean, I know that he's played, you know, low-key said, hey, I'm just running for the people. He doesn't go to these big events, but yep. it's a big one. Well, it is, unless you're running in California as a Republican, okay? And that's what this <laughs> is all about. Because you're exactly right, Molly. He said, I want to be a candidate of the people. What does that mean? I don't want to be hyper-partisan. Right. You know, all conventions always are, are about the base, right? And this is going to be a pretty mega base, which Garvey does not want to be portrayed as. Therefore, he's going to be a no-show. I don't know where he's going to be hanging out this weekend, but it's not going to be with the GOP party because he wants independence. Got to have some Democrats, too, and his own base in order to win in November. Yeah, he might be at the ballpark because he wants, <laughs> wants to be identified as a former right? baseball player, not a Republican. Yeah, but, he can't, but he's got to wear one of those hats down the middle, has giants on one side and dodges <laughs> yeah, on the other that's side. That's true. It's a whole different true. debate. <laughs> All right, Gary, thank you. As